the mistake that most guys will make with training back, they think the wider the grip, especially with pull downs and chins, the wider the grip, the more V taper, the more lats. This is actually the opposite is true. The closer the grip, when the elbows stay in close to the body, that's when you work the lats and target the lats. So whether you're doing a rowing movement or a pull down or chin movement, when it's a close grip and the elbows are into the sides of the body, you work the lats. And you know, so too, whether it's a, a row or a pull down type of movement, if the elbows stay out wide with a wide grip, you're working the upper back, being you know the, the upper traps, mid traps, lower traps, rhomboids, the terrace muscles under the, the rear delts, uh, etc. So fundamentally, pick two exercises uh, that are wide grip and two exercises that are close grip. To fully contract the back, whether it's the rhomboids, the traps, the lats, um, you need to get scapular retraction. And in simple terms, if you're doing a chin, I would like to see or feel the shoulder blades going down, back, and in together. So you're trying to squeeze a grape between your shoulder blades at full contraction. I would say over accentuate your posture. Okay, so arch the lower back, chest up and chin up. Many trainers will tell you quite rightly to keep more of a neutral spine, especially with the neck. But I find if you do that, you don't tend to get the scapular attraction you're after and activate you know, all the muscles at the back that you need to. So over accentuate your posture slightly and get great scapular attraction.